resignation. I'm gonna tell you something else. None can save you. We will come over if we have to to get them bucks and bring them back to the United States for to Australia. That part that way. I had to leave you with that. Dante Boxing, some of the best sports journalists since Sports Illustrated, since the Like a Ring magazine, Dante Rain King. See you December 4th. Hey, tell them what they expect on December 4th. Well, you're going to see some blazing speed and you'll see Jojo Diaz fall to his knees. On what round? I couldn't tell you how they fall. Uh, he'll fall, that clown. But one thing for sure, to be top choice Rolls Royce, New game we bring you to be Lamborghini. You know it's his turn. You thirst and you yearn. But guess what? We gonna sign on the name possibly with Eddie Hunt. Church. Chief Handler, Chief Handler, Church. Yeah, I want to say this about Lil Gary. All right, you talking all this IQ stuff? You lost to a dude with two pro fights in your backyard. Lumachenko schooled you. He made you look like an amateur. And he, he schooled him. And to make that what clear, you talking about, about Gary Russell, fight? right? Yeah. No, I'm just saying because I heard him saying. You know the little stuff he was saying, even though he'll never fight anyway. But I'm just saying, when I when I watched the fight with him and Lumachenko, dude only had two pro fights. I'm asking, where was the IQ when you fought a dude with only two fights? And you've been pro for years, and he fought you in your backyard. If I'm mistaken, it was a PBC show too, wasn't it? So you know. Hey, that, when was the last time that? Uh, when was the last time Gary Russell fought? I don't even know. I got a hundred dollars for anybody can tell me the last person Gary Russell fought and the last and, and when it was. No, not the month, the year. I mean, 2019 Gary, Gary, at the MGM Gary, Grand Hall. Like Who he fought? I don't know. But it was December 19th. <laughs> I mean, December 2019 Grand Hall. I know when he the mean little mean motherfucker. Who he fought? The little mean the little mean motherfucker had a fight. Know. Down at the post office the other day, I heard about it <laughs> down in Maryland. I mean, man, this shit has got to stop, Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime. It got to stop, man. Listen, you need to get that rematch with Lumachenko. <laughs> I, I don't understand it's why like, they ain't never had some. Lum Lumachenko was ready for it. No, then let's get and and, let, and why you not calling out uh, Shakur? Y'all both from the East Coast. He won thirty. What about Shakur Stevenson? He calling out Terrence and fights that ain't gonna happen. What about Shakur versus uh, Gary or Lumachenko versus uh, Gary? Gary Russell ain't gonna fight nobody. I'll say that again. That nigga gonna just talk. He ain't gonna fight nobody. He hey. everybody else's business. That nigga ain't gonna fight. We got nobody. a guy that just turned twenty three last week. That's finna fight. Be already on this third fourth world champion. Okay. I know a nigga ain't looking to fight me. He's mad as a motherfucker <laughs> right now. <laughs> he don't want no parts of Devin, but he might. Yeah, yeah he might want to see me. Yeah, so I'm glad that y'all saying it because, like, like, like he said, he said that uh, Devin sent over a BS contract to JoJo. But I'm saying, it, why JoJo signed it? So why didn't he sign the contract y'all sent over to him? Forget about me. Why he ain't fought nobody? Nobody. He ain't nigga ain't fought nobody. We can't name nobody he fought. 2019. Nigga, he fought since 2019. Get out yeah, of here. 19. All you do is Keep talk. Martinez. He won by us. No, he fought tough. He fought tough. What you think about it, Chuck? What my team say? You ain't fought nobody. Uh, you know? Well, like I said, y'all, tune in December 4th. Joe, uh, the, the Devin the Dream Haney versus. No, natural disaster at the MGM Grand. You dig? They need to have the CNN trucks out there, not just ESPN. Because Devin right. Devin Haney going to win. That part, you see, champion don't even want to eat you. You know what I mean? Cause you gonna get it, Jojo. No stone no, no, unturned. Tell you that right now. All right. Well prepared. You did. You better be scared, Buster. I'm right here with the, with the chief handler himself, my man Church. Tell him what you need to tell him, baby. Well, I want to reassure you, the fans in the public, we are not leaving no stone unturned with Jojo Diaz. We do not take Jojo Diaz lightly. We're gonna execute. Demonstrate and orchestrate. Lord Devin Haney's skills will be on display on a high level. Jojo Diaz is a strong fighter, courageous fighter. Uh, that night, normally I would say I wish someone the best. Trust me, he's an op and he won't be wished the best. Hey, tell him what they expect on December 4th. Well, you're going to see some blazing speed and you'll see Jojo Diaz fall to his knees. On what round? I couldn't tell you how they fall. Uh, he'll fall, that clown. But one thing for sure, to be top choice Rolls Royce, New game we bring you to be Lamborghini. You know it's his turn. You thirst and you yearn. But guess what? We gonna sign on the name possibly with Eddie Hunt. Chief Handler, Chief Handler, Church. 
What's going on guys? Listen, if you really want to know how it's going down out here in Thailand, then go ahead and subscribe to my man's channel, Zoom to Thailand. My man's Richie Mack. So you guys can really see how everything goes down for us out here. And next year, I'm going to be heavy on my channel, DTN, Dante's Traveler Nation. My name is Chris and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at South Carolina and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up and I saw one for SMP and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after and I was looking at that and, they, you know, it caught my attention so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? And, uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole, whole treatment, we talked and, you know, about our families and our life and, you know, and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. When you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina, Scout Carolinas, to get this done. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, then this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.